Hey, Adam Savage in my cave with a tool tip about precision placement of holes. Okay, let me paint you a picture. You've got a piece of aluminum. You have covered it with layout fluid, blue lacquer marking fluid, and you have drawn yourself and carefully measured a spot where you want a hole to go. There's your spot. Now, you don't want to take this just to your drill press and try and drill on that X. No, 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 because your standard drill bit will wander a bit. For precision, you want to use a punch. Now, this is a spring punch. You probably have one of these in your collection. There's lots of different kinds of these. And what you would do is you would bring the spring punch up to the X, double check its position and drive it in. And actually, I did pretty darn good. I think I'm within three or four thou of center on that one. But what if three or four thou within center is not enough precision for you? There is a punch that can satisfy your needs. And I'm warning you, this one's a little bit spendy. Starts about 50 bucks. You can easily spend over a hundred on this. It's called an optical punch. And this is what it looks like. And this is what you use when precision is mission critical. So let's draw another X. I'll draw another line. And this is where we want our optical punch to go. So here's what we do. You, this is the optical part of the optical punch. It is an aiming reticule. It's like the sight of a gun. You place it in one of the holes. Doesn't matter which one. There's only two so that you can store the punch and the optical part together. You place that over the hole, and then you bring your eye over it. And what you'll see when you look down is a tiny little dot surrounded by a circle, and it allows you to bring that dot, oh my God, so close to the X, you can't even believe it. Then, while holding the punch down, and I know this sounds crazy that it works like this, you pull out the optical part and put in the punch part, and then while it's sitting there, give it a little thwack. There you go, that's it. And now you have a punch started hole precisely where you want it. Here's the thing about the optical punch. For me, the spring punch has always been pretty good. And I watch YouTube videos of people working at incredible precision using spring punches and I have not had the same results. These are not precise. No matter how careful I try and be, I can use one of these to put a hole slightly off center. The optical punch allows me perfect precision when I really need it. And I know this is a little bit spendy, but you know what? If you have a tool person or a maker in your life, this is a fantastic birthday or Christmas present. That's my tool tip for today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching that entire video. Your viewing helps us keep the lights on. Well, it's one of the ways. One of the other ways is through selling our merch. And you guys have been so fabulous about suggesting great merch ideas when I say something strange or funny and you suggest in the comments that we put it on a sticker or we put it on a t-shirt. Well, we are following your advice. And if you follow the links below, you can buy some of our merch so that we can make some more videos. Thank you guys for watching.